The Pyrenean Mastiff, also known as the Mastin del Pirenio, comes from northeastern Spain. The breed belongs to the Molosser family that has been used as a flock guardian, protecting herds and livestock from predators such as the wolf and bear for a long time. These Mastiffs can be intimidating to some people who are not familiar with large dog breeds. But once you spend some time with them, you'll know that they're big fluffy dogs with a calm and even temperament. These guys are not aggressive unless provoked and are particularly gentle with children. Pyrenean Mastiffs are great dogs to have around and if you've been thinking of bringing a new furry companion home, here are top 10 interesting facts about these incredible dogs that you should know before you get one. But before we get to the facts, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Pyrenean Mastiff owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these incredible dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their Origin the Pyrenean Mastiff's origin is relatively unknown, although experts believe that the breed descended from Molosser dogs that arrived in the Pyrenees Mountains some 3,000 years ago. Each isolated mountain region developed a unique livestock guardian breed from the Molosser dogs, including the Pyrenean Mastiffs, Spanish Mastiff, and Great Pyrenees. During the migration of flocks to and from gazing grounds in the Aragon region of Spain, shepherds traveled with a small pack of Pyrenean Mastiffs. The herds comprised of more than a thousand sheep, which the dogs expertly protected from bears and wolves in the mountains and foothills. And even though these dogs excelled as flock guardians for centuries, their numbers plummeted in the mid-20th century as the Spanish Civil War and the Second World War led to decreased reliance on guarding dogs. However, when wolf packs returned to the Aragon region in the 1970s, shepherds reintroduced guardian dogs to the mountains. Since then, breed enthusiasts have worked hard to restore Pyrenean Mastiff population from 30 prime Pyrenean Mastiff specimens. These Mastiffs are considered to be rare even today. Pyrenean Mastiffs have been recognized by the American Kennel Club as part of their foundation stock service and are still awaiting full pedigree status. Number 2. Their Physical Characteristics The Pyrenean Mastiff is an extra-large breed of dog with females standing up to 28 inches tall and males growing to 30 or more. Males weigh an average of 180 pounds, although at times they have also been known to grow up to 220. These dogs are extremely strong and muscular, but also modestly proportioned, carrying their weight on a large frame. But despite their large size, Pyrenean Mastiffs don't come across as sluggish or slothful, and are unexpectedly light and easy in their movement. Their head is large and moderately long, with the skull being just slightly longer than the length of the muzzle. The crown itself is slightly domed and dips to a very subtle stop at the forehead. Their eyes are almond-shaped and have an alert and stern expression. Pyrenean Mastiffs also have a thick, abundant coat that is coarse in texture. The coat colors most frequently seen are white with gold, gray or badger markings on head, ears, and neck. Number 3. Their Temperament and Behavior For a dog of such a large stature, the Pyrenean Mastiff is a surprisingly calm and gentle breed. These guys were bred to be a livestock guardian, so they retain a lot of their protective instincts. As such, your pup will not hesitate to stick up for your family and will never back down from a challenge. They can also be a little wary around strangers. With their loved ones, however, these Mastiffs are even tempered and gentle, often getting along well with everyone, especially children. They are playful, affectionate, and more relaxed compared to other large breeds. This makes Pyrenean Mastiff the perfect all-around dog for a child. But because of their large size, you should be extra careful with them when they're around small kids. Make sure you teach your children how to handle a large dog and always supervise their play. Number 4. They need early training The Pyrenean Mastiff needs good training and socialization from an early age because their size alone can make them hard to control if you don't have a good foundation in place. They're intelligent dogs that are very intuitive and they also learn commands pretty quickly. These Mastiffs are also known to be self-reliant and as such, they prefer to figure things out on their own rather than taking time to learn from a master. This is why you gotta be confident and consistent with your pup and stick to a rule set when you want them to do something. If you are too meek and passive, they'll not respect you and could act on their own, which could lead to a very destructive and aggressive pup. Training your Pyrenean Mastiff is gonna be a gradual process. Be firm and motivate your dog with praise and encouragement during training sessions. Number 5. Their Energy and Activity Level the Pyrenean Mastiff is not an overly active breed, but they were bred to work so these dogs do best when they are trained to perform a job or a task. As a pet, these gentle giants will need daily physical activity and mental stimulation to stay happy and fit. These Mastiffs were bred to cover vast swathes of mountainside at a leisurely pace so their preferred mode of exercise is a gentle stroll around a large garden. You can take your Mastiff on a couple of short daily walks and provide light play sessions in a securely fenced backyard to keep their energy level in check. 
Despite the breed's calm nature and moderate exercise needs, these pups do need a lot of space to feel happy. If you live in condos or apartment buildings, the Pyrenean Mastiff won't be the right breed for you. They'll do better in homes with larger yards, and they'll definitely look forward to having their own space being as independent as they already are. Number 6. They're well suited for cold climate. Because of their thick and long coats, Pyrenians don't do very well in high heat climates. They have a high tendency of overheating, which could be an extremely dangerous condition for dogs. In the cold though, these dogs do extremely well because they can handle very low temperatures. This is likely due to their mountain breed origins. Thanks to their history as mountain dogs, the Pyrenean's heavy coat helps in tolerating cold temperatures. If you live in a warmer environment and wish to have a Pyrenean Mastiff, make sure you take measures to have a cooled space for your dog and don't forget to keep them hydrated regularly. Number 7. They don't bark a lot. Because of their mild temperament, Pyrenean Mastiffs are generally quiet. They'll bark when necessary, but otherwise, they're pretty silent throughout the day. Some dog enthusiasts do prefer this quality to incessant barkers, but others might say that they're quiet even when they need to make noise, say when there's an intruder at hand. If you want your Pyrenean to bark more, you can certainly train them to make a sound when needed, but you know what? Well, that's another task to take on. Number 8. They are heavy droolers. Much like other Mastiff breeds, the Pyrenean Mastiff happens to be a heavy drooler. It's cute to a certain point, but they can get quite messy at times. Of course, there are ways to adjust to it, especially if you know when your dog drools the most. Pyrenians will drool excessively after eating and drinking, so be prepared to wipe up the slobber then. They also tend to drool heavily after some type of physical activity, which naturally leads to more drinking afterwards, meaning more drool to clean up. This is one of those things you just have to learn to deal with when you own a Pyrenean Mastiff. Number 9. Their Grooming Needs The Pyrenean's thick coat sheds moderately all year round, but it does have two particularly heavy molds in spring and autumn, when the dogs will lose large clumps of hair. For most of the year, brushing or combing should be done every few days, whereas daily grooming is required when the dog is undergoing one of the heavy molds. Grooming rakes will be the best tool for this pooch, but you can also use pin and slicker brushes. As for bathing, only bathe them when necessary to better retain the natural oils in their coat. The rest is just basic care. Brush your pup's teeth using a dog-specific toothpaste to prevent dental diseases and make sure to clip their nails whenever you hear a scrape or click on the floor. Their nails are particularly thick, so you gotta use a robust clipper to avoid splits and cracks in the nail surface. Also, clean their ears weekly with some cleanser and cotton wool to prevent any infection from debris and wax buildup. Number 10. They are a healthy breed. The Pyrenean Mastiff is a relatively healthy dog with only a few health issues to keep an eye out for, such as gastric dilase and volvulus or bloat. To prevent this condition, you can feed your dog small portions of meals throughout the day rather than one or two large meals. You also gotta avoid foods that are higher in fat and oils. Some other conditions to be wary of include hip and elbow dysplasia, an inherited disease that causes the joints to develop improperly and results in arthritis. Stiffness in your pup's elbows or hips may become a problem for them, especially as they mature. Unfortunately, Pyrenean Mastiffs can also inherit or develop a number of different eye conditions such as cataracts and glaucoma. While it may seem overwhelming, each of these conditions can be diagnosed and treated to prevent undue pain and suffering. We recommend taking your canine friend to the veterinary clinic regularly to make sure that there are no signs of concern. Alright guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Pyrenean Mastiff. Thank you so much for watching the video. So what do you think about the breed? Do you think the breed is the right one for you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you already own one of these gentle giants, we'd love to hear about your experiences living with them. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting videos and in different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.